Take a peek into life for a farming village in pre-modern Tokyo at Kota Rafuruzedo Mora. Explore eight restored or faithfully reconstructed buildings dating to the 17th and 18th centuries. The exhibits take you through the history of the area. cultivation methods and technology of the day and how the typical farming family lived throughout the year the village celebrates a number of such as Setsubon in February and Girls Day in March holds Kamishabai plays. An old-fashioned form of street theater involving a narrator and illustrated boards. An old-fashioned form of street theater involving a narrator and illustrated boards, and Karuda card game events. If you are lucky, you may also be able to enjoy their delectable handmade Musashino Udon noodles. The land of Kodaira is Nita village, which was developed with the opening of the Tamagawa aqueduct in the early Edo period. In the past, along the Ome Highway and other roads that ran east to west, there were rows of farmhouses surrounded by forests of mansions. However, in recent years, the appearance of Kodaira is also changing greatly. Under these circumstances, Kodaira City dismantled and stored four buildings, including the former Ogawa residence entrance building, which had been donated. Responding to the growing interest of citizens in local culture, in order to pass on these to future generations as cultural heritage, the main building of the former Kamiyama family residence. Experience what life was like in a farming village. Gather around the sunken hearth fireplace inside the former Kamiyama family residence. Learn how villagers used water to grind grains. Visit the former entrance hall of the Ogawa family residence, the family that developed the Tamagawa Josui Canal and subsequently founded Ogawa Village, current day Kodaira. Imagine the hustle and bustle that used to occur in the former Ogawacho post office. <laughs> 